Shalaja, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I am going to show you how to fix Amazon Q Developer authentication problems you might encounter when you use Amazon Q Developer in your integrated development environment. Let's get started. Let's review error messages that you might get when you are using Amazon Q Developer in your ID. Access denied exception, access denied, an error occurred while processing your request. This error is reported to the team automatically. We'll attempt to fix it as soon as possible. Details, your account is not authorized to make this call. Application sign in error, an error occurred while signing into the application. Invalid callback URL. Let's go through how to troubleshoot each of these error messages. First, Make sure that you install the latest Amazon Q extension in the supported version of your IDE. Now, let's start with the access denied error. You get access denied when you aren't subscribed to Amazon Q Developer Pro. To check your subscription, open the AWS Access Portal URL in the browser that you used to sign in through your IDE. Then, enter your user credentials and sign in to your account. Choose Applications and then look for the Q Default Profile application. If you see it, then you are subscribed. If you don't see it, then contact your administrator to subscribe. You can also use the Amazon Q Developer Console to check your subscription. Open the Amazon Q Developer Console. In the navigation pane, choose Subscriptions. Under Subscribe Users and Group, choose Users. Check if your username is listed. If it isn't listed, then you aren't subscribed. If your username is listed, then check that your status is active. If the status is pending, then you are subscribed, but the billing hasn't started yet. You will be charged after your first use of Amazon Q Developer Pro. To subscribe, see the link to subscribe workforce users to Amazon Q Developer Pro in the video's description. If your status is cancelled, then select your username, choose more actions, and then choose resubscribe. Next, I'll show you how to resolve the error message an error occurred while processing your request. If you get this error when you are trying to chat with Amazon Q Developer Pro, then your subscription might not be active yet. After you add your username to a group, it can take up to 24 hours for the subscription to activate. If you continue to experience an issue after 24 hours, then make sure that you have subscribed. And finally, let's resolve the error message, application sign-in error, invalid callback URL. When you log in into the IDE, make sure you select the AWS region that matches the region where AWS IAM Identity Center is located. For example, I set up IAM Identity Center in US East 2. When I sign in through the IDE, I enter the start URL and the region as US East 2. So now you know how to troubleshoot authentication errors when you use Amazon Q Developer in your IDE. Thank you for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.